London Jones. She's a competitor who doesn't like to lose. She's a small guard. She's scrappy. But she has game like she's 6'2". The first time I saw her, honestly, I couldn't believe that the smallest player on the floor was dominating like this. She plays with a chip on her shoulder because everywhere she goes, there's a target on her back. But off the court, she's filled with a ton of personality and surrounded by lots of love. They say big things come in small packages from the entire In The Lab family. We want to introduce you to the next big thing, London Jones. My name is London Jones. I go to Centennial High School in Corona. I'm from Riverside, California, and I'm a class of 2022. My name is Britton Kelly. I go by BK uh, from the Washington, D.C. area, Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, I'm a basketball trainer. I've been training London Jones. I've had the honor of training her for the last year and a half, two years. Uh, going into her junior season is when we first started working together during the pandemic. It's been nothing but a, a, a blessing and a, and a beautiful roller coaster ride from, from day one. And it's been an honor and a pleasure to be around someone just like her. London as a person is a goofball. Uh, she's probably one of the funnest people to be around. Uh, always cracking jokes. Always, you know, just doing funny things, always camera ready. Uh, definitely gotta have a photo shoot every time she come in and out the gym, let everybody know that she's popping. And this is Deezy, and we're looking at the sunset. And as you can see, there's a ocean water lake thingy right there to the left of you, if you wanna turn that way. We and have something to say for the vlog. Of course, go ahead. And um, we're dropping Dana off, um, and we leave tomorrow, and I just wanted to say how proud I am of her. Oh. And, all y'all that was talking mess, and all y'all that just want to hate for no reason, you know, if you're not hating, we're obviously doing something right. Oh, here he is, so, dude. Shout out to y'all, and we living our best life. Tell them where we at. Tell them where we at. Um, we in Berkeley. Yeah. 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 Go, man, go, man, go, man, go. I love that about herself. Her confidence just ubers out of her personality, so she's a joy to be around. I could be in a bad mood, and when DZ come through the gym doors, Man, it just brightens up my day. So, a loving, caring, super family oriented person, um, but also not to be played with. You know, you get on that wrong side, and super gremlin will definitely come out. I would say the my ability to score over people that are like six three six foot and up um i feel like it it takes a lot and it doesn't it's not easy and i feel like i make it look easy London being only 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, um, she has probably grown up with this chip on her shoulder, but she plays bigger than what she is uh, based on the fact that she has heart over height. Uh, being a smaller player or guard, what are some benefits of being smaller? The benefits, I would say, one is like you're pretty much fa always faster than everybody else, and then you're, you're closer to the floor, which means Taller people dribble higher, so it's easier for you to steal the ball. Um, that's 
for sure benefit. And then grinding would definitely be like working on the things that other people don't work on. And like usually like people just work on like shooting, like ball handling, but like real moves that you I feel like the most important thing is working on things that you would actually apply to the game. Like there's a lot of people that don't really like work on things that they would do in the game. But I feel like that's what I do and that's how it comes really easy for me to translate what I do at the gym to on the court. Um, for her going to the next level and through the last two years of high school, we worked on her getting to her floater, getting to her mid range a lot. You know, uh, we don't want her to be on the ground as much as she has been. A lot of times she'll go coast to coast. I call it going to the Baja. She'll take it straight to the basket uh, and finish through contact and with contact. But in the last couple years, we've just been trying to develop her mid range game, her getting to her spots, uh, her getting to her floater. Cause the defender that's directly in front of her is a non-factor. So knowing that that's one of her superpowers, that she could just go past anybody at any given time, uh, you know, scoring and being efficient in that mid-level area is something that we've really been focusing on. foot on the gas. Um, she plays with a different speed and a different type of swagger on the court. Uh, her personality on the court is like that of Allen Iverson or John ja Morant. Like she's always one possession of, away from a highlight. You know what I mean? One possession away from a ooh and a ah at every, any given moment on the court. Uh, sometimes, you know, a defender may think that they have her bottled up or something and then she just cuts on the jets or she just activates that fast twitch and next thing you know we the whole gym is going crazy she dropped somebody or she's you know left them over there crossed up or pulled up from deep so uh on the court you know what i mean she's a, a highlight reel waiting to happen to to, to sum it up <laughs> Oh man, so that's one of the favorite parts uh, about London. She's super family oriented. Uh, that's why I believe she made the ultimate decision to go to UCLA. Uh, she's super close to her big sisters, uh, Paris and Dallas. Uh, they're like the three amigos, you know, it, it's, it's super cool, man. Like. You only have two friends, and I have I friends out of state. Paris, I, I have friends out of state, and you don't got no friends. Yeah, I do. You, you got no friends. Where are your friends? Really? Mom, really? I don't got mom. I don't got I'm Dallas Jones and I'm London's older sister. I'm Paris Jones and I'm the oldest sister. Huh, Punky.
we're we're super close like i know like a lot of people say like oh we're close we're close but we like not normal like my friends will be like p like like y'all are not normal like we're over here we have our own place we're over here like three four times a week um we don't really miss a game like if i don't have work or she don't have work we don't miss a game but family dynamic i would say mom is head honcho dad is dad dad is also had honcho too i feel like i'm the the like bring the i'm she's like the middle person she's definitely the mother yeah she's a, she's mom part two literally copy paste mom right there <laughs> dad like he's definitely he definitely like he definitely takes us to our practice our training and all that mom is definitely the mental aspect like like um separating yourself from everybody else mentally me, I'm chill. I'm just, I'm the chillest. I don't got no problems. I'm actually perfect, low key. Paris, <laughs> on the other hand, she real. She she's a great older sister. Like she really is. Like literally, mom part two. I'm the middle person. She got a problem. She got a problem. Mom got a problem. Dad got a problem. They all come to me, mm -hmm. and I gotta fix it and squash it. And then London, on the other hand, she's just a baby. She just she's there, spoiled to be rotten. Honest. Spoiled rotten. <laughs> like I can't even with London. Man, you gotta get out the way. She came right in. <laughs> I see you, Dallas. Whenever you're ready. Was the slide in nice? Go get it, hustle up. You act like we got hey. that extra line. Hey, my slide was cold. I'm listening to music, I'm afraid. Her parents also, you know, her being the youngest child, like, they're they're a close close knit family man it's like it, it's one of the most inspiring things in the world you know how much they love each other and support each other uh, i can count on one hand how many games i've seen any one of them miss but they're at every single game they're screaming and shouting um they they go out to eat a lot they they go to the beach the movies like they're very very close knit family which is which makes her uh, always have her why in the front of her mind when she plays basketball as well. Like, you know, during the game, she could be struggling. And, you know, no matter the atmosphere, it's probably going to be the same way in Poly Pavilion. She can hear her sister's voice. She can hear her dad's voice. She can hear her mom's voice. She can hear either one of her sister's voices. And she locks in as soon as she makes the eye contact. It's like, you know, a baseball coach when they're telling the person to steal from first to second, like, they give her different signals and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, they have their own Morse code. When my sisters are at my games, it's it's fun because they played basketball. So my older sister went to D, a D1 college as well, and then my middle sister went to D1 college as well. So them already going through it, I kind of have the cheat code. So when I'm not really, when I'm not really in the right mindset, like game time, I'll look up to them. They'll tell me something, and then it gets me going. Um, but just seeing them in the crowd means more than they know, definitely, because they're really my everything for real. So. Stands, people hear me say it all the time like don't piss her off like all it takes is for her to get a shot blocked or for somebody to just get a deflection on her or start clapping or talking and it's over super gremlin mode is activated uh, she is a killer and that's why I call her the best in the land like she would turn up at any given moment and it's one of those things where you know she plays at a different level than a lot of people she has a switch that only some of the greats I've ever seen have, you know, 
A lot of people don't possess that switch. Um, and killer mode, once killer mode is cut on, it's literally history in the making. a walking bucket. I mean, to be honest with you, when she gets it going, it's it's literally amazing to watch. I mean, she can pull up from the volleyball line. She can score it at all three levels. And when it, I've seen her go for 13, 15, 16 points in a row, you know, run off bucket after bucket after bucket. Uh, that's why I call her the best in the land. Not too many people at any level, male or female, I've seen score the ball in bunches the way that London can score it. I'm really excited uh, this year for London to see her leadership qualities develop and blossom uh, before she heads over to UCLA. Uh, this year, not having Jada Curry alongside her uh, and TT San Antonio, uh, man, like those were two big uh, losses for their uh, team dynamic that they had at Centennial last year, uh, which allowed London to kind of just take on some scoring roles and you know just do what she's comfortable doing. Super excited about this year. Uh, at Centennial, uh, she's going to be the vet on this team. She's going to be the. She's going to have to take on the responsibility of leading some younger players um, and and pretty much directing them and, to, uh, and keeping up the Centennial winning ways. I mean, she was spoiled last year. Obviously, the the world is on notice with, with Jada Curry doing what she's doing up at Cal. But last year, her and her in London virtually averaged the same amount of points. Uh, they would pick and choose when they wanted to go off. You know, for 30 and 40 a game. Uh, it was amazing, and then TT was that workhorse on that squad that would lock up everybody's best defender, go coast to coast, and you know she could rely on her teammates a lot more 
This year, she's going to have to somewhat uh, help people come into those roles. She's going to have to help this team kind of find their identity. Uh, she's going to have to carry a majority of the scoring load again, uh, like she did early on in her high school career, uh, which I think is ultimately going to help her as she gets to UCLA. Uh, but for her to help Centennial repeat uh, and defend their championship, uh, she's definitely going to have to uh, help develop and bring along some of these younger players. What I'm saying is if y'all do something dumb and y'all keep doing it, I'm not talking to y'all. Because if I talk to y'all, I'm going to cuss y'all out. If I do uh, okay, something wrong, I'm going to own up to it. Okay, but I'll talk to you. And then you translate the message because yeah. hell. Yeah. All right, so we're going to uh, stretch. Um, and then we're going to, more so going to be competition today. Uh, you know, I, I hate being back here in the gym, but uh, oh. still basketball, basketball. So just, just compete, let's get better, all right? Yes, sir. Just, 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 just. No, 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 no